wanted to do this podcast because, you know, ultimately vulnerability is the way human beings connect. Yeah. And we want to be able to connect with people uh, on another level. I, I love this real, recognize real. Like people want to connect with real people. And I think the only way to do that is by being vulnerable. If you can be authentic and transparent with people and just live in the actual truth that is your life and share it with people, you would be blown away by how others will respond. You'd be blown away when you're actually saying the things that everybody wants to say, but is afraid to say, how people will start perceiving you. You know, vulnerability, Brene Brown is one of the biggest, biggest speakers on vulnerability and one of the most powerful uh, these days. And she did an interesting thing in one of her books. She talked about it at an event. She said, hey, raise your hand if you look at vulnerability as weakness. And all the hands shot up. I said, well, if someone came up here on stage and was vulnerable, how many of you would see them as courageous? And everybody raised their hand again. So vulnerability is your biggest strength. I was so focused for so long on this idea of law of attraction and just like fleeing from negativity that I just didn't want to talk about negative things. Like if all of a sudden you're like, hey man, let, let me, uh, I really need to talk to you about some stuff. And all of a sudden it's like a bunch of freaking negative stuff. Like part of me like literally was like teaching myself to like completely disregard that. Cause like, I don't want that. I don't need, I don't need that energy. Yeah. Like I don't need that negative energy in my life. Here's what you have to do immediately. You have to just stop the negativity. You're never gonna get a better job if all you do is keep talking about how bad your job is. It's never gonna happen. It's never gonna happen. You're never going to get in a better relationship with your spouse if you keep talking about how bad your relationship with your spouse is. It's never gonna happen. It's just the law of attraction. Like I'm trying to focus on only things that are positive and, and keep moving forward. And so I think a lot of it is like, it's basically, it's like kind of destroying that idea of saying like there's 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 certain areas where dealing with negative thoughts and dealing with these the negative emotions and obviously these conversations tend to lean towards talking about negative emotions but they can be the other way as well uh, but it's almost making it like okay like to have those conversations as though somehow you can actually have something positive come out of talking about something negative I guess yep. Um, and making sure that you your understanding of that, but but maybe as far as a solution, because I think we can sit here and talk about the problem all day. But as far as the solution, maybe on the other end of like, hey, every time you're with a friend that you haven't seen in a little while, like asking some of those questions to dig some of the real stuff out yourself, even if you're the one that comes into that conversation knowing that you need to get some stuff out, because the reality is we've all got stuff. Like every single person that's watching this, every single person sitting here. It's all got something that if we said, okay, every single person open up right now, be vulnerable, what's pain, boom, go, boom, go, boom, go. We all got it. And so if you understand that, just like starting to maybe open up in those conversations with other people, and it's like almost the do unto others as you want done to yourself. That whole idea of like, I'm gonna give this person an opportunity to be vulnerable with me, and in turn, they probably are gonna allow me to open up.